On this week's review, we're gonna be looking at the Black Cat Coffee by Perky Blenders. So this week, we're gonna be looking at a brand new coffee by Perky Blenders, the Black Cat. Now this particular one is one of the coffees of the month. And if you go on their website, perkyblenders.com you'll actually see that they've got some of these that they rotate every month so it's a new coffee each time now this particular one is made up from two varietals the Castillo and the Katura beans so we've got a nice blend with some high quality stuff in it price wise for this you're looking at about seven pounds now there's a couple of cool facts about them in particular first of all the way that you buy it but also down to the things that make it better for all of us especially in the climate that we're in at the moment First, the packaging is biodegradable. That makes a massive difference. I know that's a, a big thinking process for all of us in the way that we actually buy, well, make any of our purchases these days. We wanna make sure that it's environmentally friendly. Big tick on that one. But second is the way that you can buy it. Now, not only can you buy the individual bags from the website, which does ship worldwide, by the way. I've got some friends in Bézier in France who would absolutely love the fact that you can get this delivered without having to worry about people loading up their suitcases before they make a visit. So Russ and Kayla, I think we may have found a solution to your problem. Thanks, Perky Blenders. But also, you've got different ways of subscribing to the coffee. So you can actually buy upfront gift packages for either three, six or 12 months, which is great if you're trying to buy a present for someone that wants coffee and wants to try something a bit different. But they also have a Flexi account as well, where you can tailor the coffee according to your needs, which I think is really clever. If you happen to be in the London area, now this is very, very cool. They also do wholesale coffee in returnable buckets, and they can actually deliver that coffee to you in the London area either by bike or electric car. That is a real USP, that's fantastic. I've never seen anybody do that before, or at least I've never realized that people did it before. By the way, really cool. So hopefully the coffee is gonna live up to the rest of the image that the company portrays. So let's have a little look at the coffee first of all. Now it says here that we should expect dark chocolate, lime and brown sugar. So let's see what we get in the bag first of all, just see if we can recognize any of those flavor notes. Yeah, and straight away, the brown sugar, absolutely. There's also a bit of a lingering note of the chocolate at the end of it as well. But definitely a very sweet flavor to it. That brown sugar is definitely well in there. Almost like a, probably a muscovado-y type sugar as well. Something quite sweet, but also fairly dense in the flavor. Now, the physical bean size themselves is actually pretty cool as well. Now, because it is a blend, you can expect to see different size beans. There are some in there that are gonna be a little bit bigger, some a little touch smaller, but roasted really well, a lovely kind of light profile on those. And I really enjoy the light profile coffees because you do seem to get a lot more of the subtleties come out when you actually make them. So we're gonna give this a shot on espresso and we'll see how our coffee turns out. There's our little espresso shot. Ah, now I'd say that the brown sugar is the predominant flavor in this. It has quite a rather unsubtle brown sugar flavor. I do refer to Muscovado sugar because it almost has a bit more of a tang to it. And that's definitely the first smell that I get in this. Again, with that subtle chocolate back note as well. So far, it's definitely living up to the flavor notes on the bag and that's really cool. That's awesome. So again, identical to the bag. Your brown sugar is your first hit. I would say the chocolate's very subtle, but I think only because with a lot of Colombian coffees, generally speaking, you get some good chocolatey notes. But brown sugar is your main kick in this. With a very subtle, I would say it's more of a, citri um, more of a citrus feel of that lime in there. A subtle tang as well but brown sugar is your predominant force in this. So if you love sweet tasting coffees, I mean, bear in mind, this is an espresso shot. There's no milk in it to bring out any other flavors. There's no sugar in it either. This is straight out espresso. So you're getting something that's tasty, that's fragrant, full of all those aromatic flavors, but you're getting something that is incredibly delicious as well. It's just so enjoyable. If you like an espresso, but 
you're kind of a bit sick of the very dark and bitter taste in espresso. This is probably going to really appeal to you because the sweetness just jumps out from the cup. And it is a lovely dense colour as well. I mean, it's just super, super dark, but very brown. There's no like almost Guinness looking colours, like with very deep blacks and very um, light cremers. This has got a fairly medium creme, had fairly medium creme on it. I've drunk most of it now. But also a lovely deep brown, brown sugar colour to it also. This is a really great coffee. For seven pound, that's money exceptionally well spent. So check out perkyblenders.com. Again, if you like this coffee, if you've tried it, don't forget to leave a comment below, or if you're tempted to buy a bag, I'd love to know what you think. If you haven't done so already, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to continue your journey on coffeewithgpa.com. I'm gonna go and enjoy this for the rest of the night now. I hope you have a great week. Enjoy your coffee. I can't wait to see you again soon. Take care.